city of Jones, Oklahoma, also Johnson, Oklahoma, and Meeker, and McLeod, and Hannah, and Castle, and Choctaw, Choctaw, Bokey, Mason, Bethel Acres, Pink, Arcadia, Luther, and all the wonderful communities here in near Oklahoma City come to you in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. Many of you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I invite you to accept Christ today and be saved. Don't wait till it's too late. We're all sinners. We all need Jesus for grace, mercy, salvation, and eternal life. In order to become a Christian, you need to start confessing your sins. To Jesus. You say, I'm sorry for my sin. You might say, why? I don't think I am a sinner. I'm a pretty good person. I pay my taxes. I obey all the traffic laws. No, uh, no felonies. Not even any misdemeanors. Well, that's good, but that's not good enough for God. He wants you to be He wants you to be a good citizen, don't get me wrong. But, he in general he wants you to be a good citizen, but if it contradicts with his law, or is just the bare minimum of living a Christian life, then it's not good enough. I mean, if you're just living, if you're just obeying the laws of the land, of your city, state, country, and nothing more than you just, you're a slacker. You're a slacker in, the, in God's eyes. It's not that you can, uh, not that you can earn your salvation, don't get me wrong. It's not like you can get out of a chart or a list of things you gotta do every day. This, 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 then you're okay. That's not it either. It's gotta be from your heart. He wants your heart. He knows you. You're the, the real you. He can hide the real you from a lot of people. Well, I mean, when you're starting out as a child, you can't hide the real you from your parents, usually. They know you pretty well. But even after, over time, as you grow into an adult and move away or whatever, you can hide the real you from your family, your parents. So finally, the only one who really knows the real you is God. And you can't hide it from Him. So, if you're going to be a Christian, you got to give it all you got. 110%. Heart, mind, soul. And strength. You must love God with the with heart, mind, soul, and strength as well. Serve Him and love Him. And it's a privilege. I'm not saying this is like slavery, it's not like bondage. In fact, it sets you free from bondage. If you're not in Christ, you're living according to some law, some maybe uh, rituals or civil law, you know, the law of the land, or in some cases you're completely lawless and you've just gotten away with it or you've been caught, maybe you're in prison. That's no good either. I live in jail. So, you got to acknowledge your sinfulness. We're all sinners. Some try to deny it. They deny it so much their hearts become hardened. They don't even know they're sinners anymore. So, well, they do know. They still do know. They know in the heart, their heart of hearts. But it's so callous. You've met people like that probably. We've all have. A lot of them are in prison. A lot of them are finally get to that point of no return they get to prison and then they finally they finally turn to Christ it's all about control basically when will you give up your control for God's control submit humble yourself you can't do it alone none of us can we all have to learn that some learn, some do it by 
intellectual discovery. You can do it that way. Others by emotional discovery. You can do it that way. Some just get broken down so bad because they've tried all other attempts to control their own life and none of them work. And they get desperate, they try drugs, some, some other types of addictions. Try to, as a workaround, basically. And then you finally say, okay, I surrender. I surrender all to God. And that's when the rebuilding process begins. You go from there, little by little. That's the walk of faith. And so you have to begin by saying, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Are you ready? Thank you for dying to save me on the cross. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you are now a Christian. Congratulations and welcome to the family of God, the body of Christ. You can now be assured going to heaven when you die, as long as you keep the faith, keep going to Christ, keep believing in. Start telling the good news. Pass it on. It's called being an evangelist. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it all the way across the United States. I have done so the last three summers now, or four. Three for sure, in a, in a specific way, intentional way trying to reach as many big and small cities as I can. And this is the best way to do it. Posting them online. Hope you see it online. And hope you respond to God. So there's more to tell you, but I'll leave it in the box below for you to read. And also, I just want to, you know, talk to any Christians here in this area. Hope you're also giving it all you got now. 110%. If you have fallen away, if you've become lukewarm, make sure you recommit. Come back to God. Try again. Start over. And I'll be praying for all of you. All of you. God be with you and bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.